Hey everybody, Joe Joseph here for TheDailySheeple.com, and this is your new shot. Well, 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 if it isn't another big one alert. Yes, 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 fresh warning, says TheDailyMail.com over in the UK. Over the big one, as studies find seafloor sediments off the Pacific West Coast could unleash a mega quake, and kind of like it's the, but wait, there's more. A tsunami, yeah! Oh, boy. It says the threat of the big one has loomed over the Pacific Northwest now for, oh, some time, where several major cities from Vancouver down to Northern California are cradled by the 620-mile-long Cascadia subdu subduction zone. The geological record shows the area is due for a major earthquake, which would likely be followed by, you know, a massive tsunami, a two-for-one special. Now a new study's confirmed the region just off the coast of Washington has the ingredients, my friends, for a mega quake. It says the, the subduction zone last experienced a large earthquake in the 1700s and it's thought to generate a major event every 200 to 530 years. Now while it's impossible, they say, to, in, to pinpoint the exact timing, experts have warned the region could see another major earthquake. So apparently there is uh, sediment samples and seismic data that found that the sediments are tightly packed on the plate of the northern sites of this subduction zone. And there they say little water sits in the pore spaces between the grains, leaving the plates more prone to the buildup of stress. And under these conditions, they say the sediments are better able to stick together and move together in the event of an earthquake, meaning that they're able to move massive amounts of seawater. So, of course, that's where you get your tsunami threat. It says, in a subduction zone, such as Cascadia, one tectonic plate is diving beneath another. It says, the thick sediment layers on top of the subduction oceanic plate is scraped off as it moves, causing the sediments to pile up on the top plate in a wedge of material. And this is just a lot of study going into this right now. As it looks like scientists are very concerned, and rightfully so. Uh, just yesterday, I highlighted um, a piece by, I think, the Daily Star, or I'm sorry, The Guardian, talking about the uptick in earthquake activities due to the um, slowing of the Earth's rotation. So it being a cyclical event, they know that the Earth, ro Earth rotation is going to slow next year for a certain time. And during that time, we're going to be prone to more major earthquakes. They say 15 a year is about the normal. Uh, and then during these spikes, they say 25 to 30. Okay. So that's a significant increase when you're talking about almost double the amount of uh, major earthquakes. And so... With that, is this Cascadia subduction zone more prone to uh, a major earthquake or a major event happening? How about uh, the San Andreas Fault? How about um, the New Madrid Fault? You know, a lot of people haven't been talking about that lately, but I remember uh, years ago that was uh, on a lot of people's radar, the New Madrid. I mean, these things are, and, and that, of course, is just the earthquakes, the, the, the faults. Then, then you have Mount St. Helens, uh, you have uh, Yellowstone. There are plenty of um, regions, and, and might I add this too, this is what I, I think is a little bit crazy, since we talk about uh, fault lines and subduction zones and things like that. We have, I think it's nearly half of our nuclear power plants sit on a fault line. I mean, you wanna talk about the height of dumb, why on earth would we put all those nuclear power plants right on fault lines? I mean, is, is there a logical reason to it? Because if they put that many on there, I would have to think that there's some sort of reason that we're not getting. But I'm just saying. So with all this uptick in activity, I think the biggest thing is just to make sure that, you know, you understand that if you live in an earthquake-prone region, you understand what the risks are, what the dangers are. 
And then that's it. I mean, that's all you can really do. You plan accordingly. Um, and that, as they say, is that. So be careful. The big one, the big one, they say, is coming to the Northwest Seattle. Buckle up. Who knows? Maybe you get a two-for-one special. Only time will tell. I'm Joe Joseph. This was the DailySheeple.com's News Shot. Feel free to comment below and visit our website at thedailysheeple.com. Hashtag, wake the flock up. Have a great day, everybody.